Hi, my name is Adina Crawford. I am a member of Black Girls Do Bike, and I am one of the sheroes for Black Girls Do Bike for the DMV. This has been a great event. Uh, excellent panel speakers. Uh, one that really touched me was the story of the, uh, the Afghans and the struggle that they have to go through about cycling. We here in the U.S. have it so easy, and to see the struggle that they have we really need to support their venture in cycling. I wouldn't be on a bike unless I had a great group of friends who I could go to bars with, go to movies with, all on two wheels. Um, and what I hope to create uh, via GC Bike Party is a network of people who also feel comfortable on two wheels and people who meet friends on two wheels and recognize that biking is the most accessible form of transportation um, in DC and in the United States. Hi, I'm eBay, and this is Selma, and Selma is my mentee, and she did her very first bike ride today, and I got to teach her how to ride a bike. It was wonderful. Thank you, Women's Museum of Art. Thank you. I'm John Gordy. I uh, love the event tonight. I really like the way that um, they gave a historical perspective first and talked about um, women and biking in general and, and gave a history and then they went back in and talked about gave these um, individuals perspectives on women biking in the Middle East, on biking in DC, on biking with kids. My name is Anna Ray and I was here for the Fresh Talk for Change uh, Women on Wheels event and I thought it was a fantastic panel. I really enjoyed the kind of structure and the ability to hear kind of the history of women and cycling and now talking about the current future. I bike because um, it's the easy way to get around DC and I like the feeling of not being tied to public transit schedule or having to worry about parking and also like the feeling that I'm not adding anything to my carbon footprint and also just the amazing bike community. I love the people in this community. I actually was not aware of the rich history of bicycles as this kind of liberating um, instrument for women, which was really exciting. And uh, one of my favorite one of my favorite anecdotes of the evening was about this amazing I forget, I forget her name at the moment, but she's this amazing um, photographer and cyclist, and she was uh, like a gender fluid uh, woman and photographer for the White House. I love bicycling, and this was an amazing event. It was so inspiring. It's my first time at the National Museum of Women in the Arts, and um, I think this is a great way to bring together the museum community and the bicycling community. Um, I was really inspired by Sue Macy's talk and about learning about the history of what women experienced um, uh, when we when bicycles were first um, invented, and um, and I'm really inspired learning about what women experience around the world when bicycling. And um, I'm so thankful for uh, everything Washington, D.C. is doing to make bicycling safer. So this was an awesome opportunity to be able to speak to a wide variety of people about why I love to bike and why I enjoy biking. And I got into biking for several reasons. One, I just noticed that everyone's having a great time. I learned how to lie, ride late in life at 25. And the other reason I got into it was because my mom had a stroke a couple years ago and I used the bike to get up to George Washington Hospital to visit her. And it was much easier to do that. It was a lot less expensive because parking at GW was $22 a day. So I rode my bike to go visit her. It was very therapeutic. It was a lot of fun. And the third reason I bike is to avoid tickets in DC. I had a budget for tickets of nearly $300 a month. So getting on my bike has saved me at least $300 a month. And that is one of the many reasons that I ride my bike. And I'm here because bicycling is about freedom. And from my vantage point and that of my church, we celebrate a God who wants to set us free. And so we're here to be part of this experience, which has been absolutely beautiful. Uh, we had last week the first annual Washington, D.C. Blessing of Bicycles. The director of public programs from here came to join us and say a few words. And so we're about building bridges, we're about celebrating, we're about giving thanks for many wonderful things that are happening. And this is one of those things. And so I'm grateful to be here. Thank you.